Welcome to Fast Stang 444. I just finished a head to head, so I'm parked on the perimeter of this next arena. arena shrinking. I've had good luck before parking here, engaging in a head to head, heading north. I parked so my vehicle is opaque on the mini map, which means I am invisible on the mini map. But it's nighttime, they'll be able to see my headlights. I'm heading the direction a head to head would lead. Vehicle just finishes a head to head. This Amir Taha. And I mention that because he comes into play here shortly. Watch what happens. So the gamer tag I mentioned just finished a head to head and leveled up into a Funko F9. keep changing my perspective of view because if they are off on the left coming towards me, I can see them in the mini-map if I change that perspective. And I'll pause this. If I engage in a head-to-head, -head, it would head north, probably just on the other side of the expressway near that dirt road. Watch the mini-map here. hilarious. I had to show that in slow motion. They went right into the water and reset behind me. The Funko F9 is so much faster than this Porsche. Watch how far they go off of this hill on this jump. I thought they were close to the finish line and to my surprise they must have spun out or something right there <laughs> and I beat them. Yes! <laughs> Thank you Amir. So obviously I took the Funko F9, I went and stayed around the western edge of that second to last arena and watch the mini-map here. Just watch what happens. Um, there isn't enough time to complete a head-to-head, -head, but they engage in a head-to-head -head anyway and I'll just, I'll just, just watch. What, I don't know, this makes no sense. In what was the sense of trying to ram me if you're trying to complete a head to head? Head to head's complete! Get oh, ready well. for the final showdown! Final showdown begins in 30 seconds! This is Arena 13. The range of time to leave is 21 to 24 seconds. And because the Funko F9 has a fast acceleration rate, I will leave at the minimum 21 seconds. I'll open up the map in a straightaway as I get closer. Okay, the finish is just southeast of the pyramid strip. So now what I'll do is I'll go through this intersection. I'll cross this bridge. You don't want to go too early. You'll wind up jumping off this bridge and losing all momentum, possibly flip. But There'll be a yellow billboard. There it is. That's my marker of when to slow down and turn right. And 
you'll see the likes of the race off festival site on the other side of the greenhouses and that's just for this week I'm going towards the left edge of this greenhouse and there's a few trees to try and get through I did well okay I did hit one that's a rarity and now just follow this road over to the finish good win with this Funko F9 that they took with the Porsche Cayenne <laughs> the expressway and I'm going to head east. I'm trying to time this as the arena is getting ready to shrink, engaging in the head-to-head, -head, taking a higher level car just before the final showdown and then using it in the final showdown to win. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, there's the final arena ahead. Here's someone and they wind up being evasive going off the road. They see what I'm up to, so I'll slow this down. Watch this. This is great. I just get close enough to engage in a head to head. <laughs> and I hit that sand mound and fortunately land on my left two wheels and recover and didn't flip. So this is arena one. The range of time to leave is 22 to 25 seconds. I'm actually going to leave late at 22 seconds. I should have left at 24 seconds. I passed all these vehicles I can tell my only possible competition is the car that's in the lead that timed their exit. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! I'm actually relieved when I see this is a level 9 Andretti Volkswagen Beetle. I have a much faster car. I'll open up the map for a split second to see where the finish is. When I open up the map again, because it was just a split second like that that I opened up the map, now I know I need to veer over left roughly on the line of these electrical power towers and slow down as I'm going over these little hills so it doesn't unsettle the car and cause it to flip. A roll. This is a great win in this Hoonigan Evo RS200 that I took just before the final showdown. Winner! Welcome to the Illuminati! Subscribe, please. Just click that link on the bottom right.